everyone and welcome back. Layer styles in Photoshop can be an incredibly powerful tool if they're used correctly and if you take the time to experiment. When thinking about how I was going to demonstrate layer styles to all of you, I decided not to simply go through each and every style and explain every last detail. After all, PSD Tuts has some pretty in-depth articles on these styles. Instead, we're going to create specific text effects such as stone and gold which will give you a more real-world look at layer styles. In this first video, we're going to be creating this stone effect that you see here, completely using layer styles. Now it's good to note that when designing primarily using layer styles, depending on the size and thickness of the font that you use, results will vary. Be prepared to make minor changes to the settings that you see in these videos, and feel free to experiment. The starting document is simply a dark background with our text typed in the middle. Notice for this design I chose to use a nice thick font. Now we can start applying our layer styles. To access your layer styles, you can either double click on the layer in your layers panel, or head up to the layer menu, down to layer style, and then choose your first style. Let's start with a gradient overlay, which will give our text some color. Clicking on the gradient bar will bring up our gradient editor, allowing us to define our colors. This gradient will be quite simple. Double clicking on the far left stop lets us change the bottom color. Let's use a neutral gray for this color. And for the color on the right, which will be our top color, we're going to set that to a much lighter gray. Perfect, that's all we're going to do for this gradient. Next will be the bevel and emboss, which will give our text some depth and texture. The style will be kept at inner bevel as we want the extrusion to be on the inside of the text, but the technique will be set at chisel hard. This will give us nice sharp edges. The depth will be increased to 200% and the size to around 20. Now down under shading we have a few changes to make as well. First, turn off global light. This will allow us to change the light source without affecting any other layer styles that we might have. With that done, set the angle at 40 and the altitude at 58 degrees. The highlight mode we're going to keep the same, but we're going to make a few changes to the shadow mode. We're going to use this to give a little bit of color to our stone. First set the blend mode to linear burn, and then click on the color box to open our color picker. The color is up to you, but make sure it's somewhat dark. I'm going to go with a nice navy blue. Good, now to further strengthen the bevel, go ahead and add a contour from the list on the left. Once it's active, just increase the range to around 65%. So right now our text is looking a little bit bland. Let's go ahead and add a texture to really strengthen the effect. You're free to use any texture that suits the effect that you're going for, but I actually found that the rusted metal pattern works well for this design. If you don't see this pattern, click on the gear icon at the top right, choose Patterns, and then Append to add them to your current list, or OK to replace them. Once the pattern's been chosen, you'll probably want to decrease the depth a little bit to blend it in a touch. 40% looks nice. At this point, the base of the stone effect is complete. Anything else is completely optional. Let's go ahead and add a few more styles, starting with an inner glow. As you might guess, this will add a slight glow to the inside of our text, mainly to lighten up the edges a touch. Let's start by changing the blend mode to overlay, the opacity to 45%, and the color to appear white. Now down below, make sure that the source is set to edge, and then set the size at 10. Good, now the last style I'm going to add will be a satin. This will add some dark areas to the text, as if the stone was a little bit dirty. Change the blend mode to linear burn, and then set the color to a darkish bluish gray color. You don't want to go too dark as it may take away from the texture of the text. Now set the distance at 100 and the size at 40. And that should do it. Of course you can go through and add or remove styles to better suit your design. And remember, if you're working with a larger or smaller font, you may need to tweak the settings that you saw in this video to get the result that you're looking for. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a nice gold effect for your text in Photoshop.